So let's get right to the keys to the game. Let's start with the Indiana Hoosiers. If they're going to win here today, what's IU's keys? Indiana head coach Terry Morin talked about the bend don't break philosophy. That's especially in defense. They have to be perfect in their rotations, high end gaps, eliminate those middle penetrations specifically, and then take care of the rock. Indiana averages 18 turnovers per game, and opponents average 17 points off Indiana's turnovers per game. So they'll have to take care of that for Columbia. Head coach Megan Griffith wants to see her players playing free. Columbia plays a lot of read and react style basketball, fast pace, up tempo, and then the shot selection has to be good. It's been good so far, 45% from the field, 38% from three. Rafu and Meister to jump it up. And the tap controlled by Columbia. A team that's walking into this tournament with no fear and ready to play some of the nation's best. Kitty Henderson on that dribble handoff to Riley Weiss. Henderson on the move quickly. Got stopped down there by Moore McNeil. Now back to Henderson for Rafu. That's a two-woman game here, but it ends there. Indiana, big early season win over the weekend, knocking off Stanford at Assembly Hall. Hoosiers had lost two in a row before that big win. Meister down low, off the glass and good. IU establishes the inside early. Again, that defense strong down there for IU. Logo three on the way. Henderson not there. Just a couple chops away from the three-point shooters. Chesky got all the way to the rim. That's a missed assignment defensively in a bucket. Two of the best coaches right now in women's college ball. Henderson probing, kicking. This is an open look and a three down for Columbia. They break the scoring seal with Riley Weiss. Henderson's vision is insane. The entire time she's handling the basketball, she's looking to manipulate the defense. Chesky missed it down deep. Henderson rebound. Kitty will stuff the stat sheet today. Average game. Jumper good. Rolled in for Collins. Columbia's got their first lead. Collins did a nice job getting that second footer, getting her balance and foundation for that shot. Meister up and good. Rafu off the bounce, sets a screen, floater in the lane, good. Collins drops in her second. Needs to play a little quicker and take advantage of some of Columbia's miscues to get some easy transition points. Lexi Bargasser is into the game for IU. Good to see her. She's been missing some time with injury for the Hoosiers. This is an unsettled possession here. Parrish, a long gun that ends up going in. All works out for IU. Yeah, Indiana didn't look like they were all on the same page, running the same play in that possession, but Bargasser made something happen at least. Oh, come on, what a pass by Henderson, and it leads to a lay-in for Columbia. Columbia's doing a nice job finding opportunities on the inside and executing with good footwork and strength. Parrish, three, no good that time. Columbia rebound. Columbia on the move, starting to find their footing. Indiana has done a good job at guarding the three, especially in your grill. Meister just inside the line. That's in and out. Parrish cleaning it up. That tight, nothing easy, trying to take away some of that vision. Columbia looking inside. They get it on the entry feed. Quarter clock running down. Collins, fall away, no. Follow, no. And that sequence kind of encapsulated the first quarter. Longtime assistant at Princeton, which also has a darn good program themselves in the Ivy League. And now all the success at Columbia. Columbia actually did not win the Ivy League postseason tournament last year and still found their way to the NCAA tournament. They lost in the first four to Vanderbilt. Columbia starting the second quarter with the ball. Weiss three. Not that time, and a strong rebound from Meister down there. 
Weiss is a player I'm interested to see how she bounces back from the last game against Villanova. Heartbreaker, she had the opportunity to tie or take the lead and miss those two free throws at the end. Coach definitely gave her the pep talk as Meister misses two down low for Indiana, but sometimes that can really shake a player when you have the game on the line and you miss. Weiss on the move, that floater good. Only three second chance points. They're not executing on the second chance opportunities. They're just throwing up that first shot right after they bring down the old board, but you can pass it out and reset your offense. Garzone waiting for a Meister screen. A double Garzone. More McNeil, swing, swing. Excellent shot fake, pass to Meister. That was good offense from Indiana. Really good offense from Indiana. Every time that Columbia's defense rotated and helped the helper situation came, Indiana continued with the one more pass until there was a mistake. Anderson miss, another Meister rebound. That's her third. More McNeil inside. She went all the way to the rack. Eski gets it to Garzone. Nice drive on her birthday through contact. You know, Yarden comes from a big basketball family. Her older sister actually plays at Colorado. And you talk about what makes Garzone a fascinating player, Lexi. Well, part of it is she's been getting better and better every year. Garzone, 50% on the season from the three-point line. She hasn't just shot a few of them. Indiana's got the lead back. They've scored the last four. Henderson on Moore McNeil. Kitty down low, spinning and scoring. That time she got the better of Chloe Moore McNeil. Kitty Henderson has some of the best footwork out of any guard you'll see at the college level. She gets down low and trusts that footwork the same way a post does. Gear zone, clean look, but a miss and a Columbia rebound. Gear zone has a nice mid-range. Collins, good off glass. Columbia settled on that one. They found more success on that driving game, being patient enough to wait for Indiana's defense to spread out before splitting it. Back in Shea Chesky's hands. Shot clock running down. Stripling's got to let it go. And it's a tie three. Columbia in that zone was just begging Indiana to shoot the three, and even though they passed down a few, finally settled on a wide open one. Where's the Columbia counterpunch on this trip? Columbia's got to get inside for this. Weiss does get inside, Lexi, right what you were calling for. Both teams been unafraid to cycle through the roster in this first half. And it looks like both teams need that bench energy. Garzone hits the three. Feels like Indiana needed to see one drop from deep. Garzone, she's a really good shooter, a player who will stretch that defense out. Answer for Columbia, great drive and finish from Kitty Henderson. Henderson is the player to go to if Columbia's feeling a little sludgy. She's that player with the speed and intensity at all times. Meister setting more screens. Parrish corner three. That one drop. Columbia clears the rebound. They're on the run. Numbers Indiana for the Lions. Continues. Weiss three. Yes. That was a deep one. Weiss, good three ball, especially now that Columbia's found a lot on the inside. It's Indiana who's taking a step off, leaving space for the three. Garzone in the corner. There's the answer for Indiana. Garzone. Where both teams have been about as even as you'll find. Long bomb not there. Shot clock did not reset. Lions got to go quick. Three on the way. That one no good. Avilash missed it. Columbia baited by Indiana on the zone D. Bargesser gave it up. 
Gare zone. Not that time. Parrish, where'd she come from to get the rebound? That was straight hustle out of Parrish. We got another whistle. Yard and Garzone to the line. It's her birthday today. Le Lexi, did you ever get the chance to play on your birthday? I have. I, I was going to assume that was part of it. Either that or you scored like 40 points in a game. I scored a decent amount, but I don't think I even went too crazy. Thankfully, we just got the win, and I was happy enough with that being my birthday present. Garzone got them both. One point lead for Indiana. Henderson free. Not that time and a rebound for Stripler. Columbia settling on another three without getting inside. Argus are fouled on her way to the rim. Simmons almost stripped it. Hoosier fans happy to see Lexus Bargus are back in the lineup. Had some injury issues so far for Indiana. Big piece of the rotation for the Hoosiers the last couple of years. Lexus from Grass Lake, Michigan. Won a state title in high school. And off to Indiana playing college. Vargas has just grown so much through her college year. She doubled her offensive production from freshman to sophomore. Columbia can play for the final shot of the first half. IU on a 6 nothing run right now to close the half. Anderson wants everybody to move. Clock running down. Lions got to move. Foul on the floor. What does Columbia draw up here? Into the Columbia corner it goes. Can't settle. Go inside. Henderson going inside. Off glass. No. After two quarters in game two of the Bad Boy Mowers Battle for Atlantis. Level competition. Some of the best programs in the country are also getting to put themselves on the map, these mid-major teams. Great feed inside and a strong start to the second half. Garzone, the beneficiary of a really nice look inside. Garzone using that length and that strength down low. We've seen her hit threes, but man, is she good from the block as well. Huge shot for Columbia. The answer for Riley Weiss, 13. Meister. The Risk it for the biscuit, as we were saying the other game, for some of those steals. She's just got to play that patient, trust the defense game. Just bend, don't break, don't make a mistake. Collins working on Parrish. Sid stays home. Now Collins keeps on working and scores off glass. Cecilia Collins. Columbia does. This is why they're so hard to prepare for. It's really picked the poison with this team. Collins and White. Chloe Moore McNeil has not scored yet in this game. She scored 21 against Stanford over the weekend. Garzone in the corner. That three not there. There was a good contest from Henderson. Oh, what a pass, but it was behind Avilash. Excellent work in transition, but Columbia couldn't make it happen. Now IU coming up the floor. Down low they go. Meister catch and finish off glass. Big Ten contender against a school many thinks going to win the Ivy League. Weiss kick. Simmons three. Parrish rebound. Columbia continues. No paint touch before the three ball. Parrish three. Not that time, but Meister crashing the glass. What a day for Lily. Meister, wow. The only one going up against three Columbia players for that offensive board, and she gets it. That straight hustle, being in the right place at the right time. 12 in the game now for Lily Meister. Collins in the middle. Hit it from just inside the free throw line. Collins' shot selection is so nice. That's why she's got over 40% from the field this year. Chesky bounce. Meister again. Good for Chesky to draw inside and wait for Meister's player to come up and face her, opening up Meister on the block. Collins in the middle again. This time short. Guess who? Lily Meister with a rebound. 
Collins with the right sele shot selection again that time. She just didn't elevate and flick her wrist the same way she typically does on that shot. More McNeil all alone. Largest lead of the game for Indiana and a timeout for Columbia. McNeil completely alone. And now we have our second game out of four in the Bad Boy Mowers battle for Atlantis. Largest lead of the game right now for Indiana. Chloe Moore McNeil with a big three right before the break. And I believe that McNeil three is going to be a huge dis difference maker moving forward in this game for Indiana. Coach Morin talked about the two players that we need to do well for our team to do well is McNeil and Yarden. If those two are playing good, the entire team is playing good. Garzone for three. She got it. Especially with McNeil's in your face intensity on defense. She's someone that's a leader out there on the defensive end for Indiana. Three, good. Raffi swirls it in. Huge shot for Columbia to stay within shot distance. These Ivy League schools are better than a lot of people think they are. Princeton. Yeah, Indiana knew they weren't gonna have to, you know, they weren't gonna take Columbia lightly, and this has been a competitive game. Indiana had it up to an 11 point lead in this quarter. Columbia can get a little closer here on this trip. Perry Page looking for room. Kicks into the corner. Weiss pulls the trigger, but that was long. Garzone, great look ahead to Bargasser. Catch and finish. Garzone, how did she find her? Garzone has such good vision. She's a player that can do literally everything. That's why she plays one through five. She's over six feet tall, but she has the vision of a point guard. Fall away, Jay. Good. That is a tough shot through contact for Riley Weiss. Strip lane. Ooh, too tall for a cutting Bargasser. Remember, this is Lexus's return to the starting line. Big final three and a half minutes. Here in this third quarter, Indiana's had an 11-point lead in this quarter, but Columbia's had answers. Rafu cut and finish off a good find. Back down to a six-point game. Columbia has started to do so much better with the paint touches, especially when Indiana goes in the zone. That's when they're baited into shooting threes, but they got the paint touch that time and found a gap. Gear zone. For Striplin, she was fouled down there. Striplin started her college career with three seasons as a Tennessee volunteer. You know, Terry Morin, if there's a list out there of the best college coaches in women's college ball, and Terry Morin's not on that list, it's an incorrect list. Indiana has nine straight 21 seasons under Coach Morin, six trips to the tournament. She's IU's all-time winningest coach. Year after year, Lexi. The Hoosiers program is turning out good teams under her leadership. And Morin's really looking forward to finding the identity and growth out of this season's squad, especially after leaving all, losing All-American Sarah Scallions and Mackenzie Holmes. Chesky missed a step in three for Indiana. Break for Columbia. Up the floor, they come! Up and good. That's a finish for Kitty Henderson. Columbia has not found many points in transition, but they turned the speed on and had everyone's eyes looking up for the streaker that time. Columbia's cut it to five. A lot of time, dribbles it away Columbia. on the shot clock. Bargesser gets it inside, that's up and no good. Missed shot. And Columbia, all of a sudden, has the momentum right back. As a team, Columbia did such a good job with on the ball D. Raffu with a great pass inside. Page up and good. We got a three-point game. Raffu's patience there down low was nice. Defense was swarming, but she let it go off a strong foundation. Chesky down low. Kick out, Bargesser thought about it. Now she's on the move. Offensive foul. Columbia has to continue to get inside. That middle penetration has been really working for Columbia, and that's something Coach Morin was worried about. Henderson, great pass. Be on the same page and move on a string. Cecilia Collins. 
She was all conference. Collins drops in two points, and we have got a one-point game with about a minute to go in the third. Collins typically known for her assisting as well, putting her players in awesome positions to score. She's gotten eight assists in two separate games this year. She score first mentality today. Paige almost stole that ball. Chesky came up with it for IU. Chesky cross court. Harris almost dropped it. Sid Parrish try to create. Drive and left. Gave it up. Meister. Wave it off. Offensive foul, Sydney Parrish. On maybe their final offensive trip of the quarter, Columbia can take the lead. Collins down low, working on Parrish. Collins didn't get the roll. Rebound Indiana and Parrish. Ah, Collins kind of forced that one up. She tried to use her footwork and the pivot, pivot to get Indiana defense to jump, but they didn't. And still, she forced that one up instead of passing it back out. Shot and game clock essentially mirror themselves here. So Indiana's playing for the final shot of a great third quarter. Garzone off a couple of Meister screens. Yarden Garzone fouled away from the basket by Susie Raffiu. A lot of space for the Hoosiers. Parrish off the inbound. Sid Parrish gets the roll. And a great close to the third for the Indiana Hoosiers. With their great crew in Atlantis. Off to the fourth quarter. Indiana got it up to an 11 point lead in the third quarter until Columbia rallied back and made this thing close as we start the fourth quarter. Down low they go, Henderson, no call. Chesky, it looked like, got tangled up with her down there. More McNeil on the run, Chloe muscles it in. Kenny Henderson, surveying the defense and handing it off. Raffi on the move, got down deep, put up a floater, and it rolled in. Their zone, oh, it's a turnover. Columbia took it away. Page coast to coast, back to a one point game. Page has been playing incredible defense, turning defense into offense for Columbia. And that's some of that spark that Columbia needs to get the lead in this game. Started on defense. Meister to set the screen for Chesky. Weiss staying home. Chesky still got that ball on a string. Great find to Parrish. Sid Parrish floater short. Cleaned up by Meister again. Meister is doing such a good job at not giving up on the play. Those offensive rebounds for second chance points is something that Meister can capitalize on all season long, not just today. Parrish had the baseline defense. Henderson behind the back dribble. Kitty Henderson, and she got the roll. Henderson does such a good job of splitting the defense, and she does it off of her own dribble. That's what's so lethal about her game. She makes the game happen. Garzone wants a little movement. Moves away from the Meister screen. Bounce, Parrish, no. Meister, another clean up down low. It's 18 for Lily. Wow, really good backdoor cut by Parrish, but she's had trouble. Finishing down low, Meister continues cleaning up for her though. How did Columbia save that ball twice? A whole lot of hustle and long wingspan. Can they pay it off? Oh, a bounce pass to Page again. They're finding the cracks. Got it up to an 11 point lead in the third quarter, but Columbia has refused to quit. Defense active hands again. Garzone giving it up. More McNeil. Stop the dribble. Stripling all alone. Found a lot of space. Indy 
Indiana is at their best when they're patient on offense and just waiting for Columbia to make that mistake. Make them rotate too many times until there's no one left to rotate. Collins on Moore McNeil. Cecilia Collins, fall away, good again. She's getting to that spot every time. Collins, even when her body is unbalanced and fading away, she gets that shot pocket so high and the elbow pointed at the rim that it counteracts that balance. Stripling down low again. Threw it up and got the roll. Shot clock running down for Columbia. Trap down there. Kick out for a three. Simmons not that time. Parrish. Indiana will keep this lead. Busy athletic Indiana. That football game didn't go the way they wanted to in Columbus, Ohio. Hoping the news is better from Paradise. Second half of the fourth quarter. Who's got the winning punch? Harris looking inside. They get it down low to Lily Meister. Oh, the defense by Rafu held firm. Rafu, good job staying in front. Meister that time spun straight into Rafu. Now working on Parrish along that baseline. Collins, oh, what a pass! Did you see that? Behind the back to Simmons. Collins, so smooth. The double team came from the front side, but wide open for the behind the back pass on the back end. Ooh, we said Parrish three, no. Weiss clears the rebound. Collins has been playing with some buoyancy Weiss puts it in. Columbia's got the lead, four minutes to go. Columbia's got everybody pitching in right now. Everyone's playing a part and knowing their role. Moore McNeil dribbling in. Parrish to Meister. Lily looking around. Moore McNeil. That three not there. Chesky came up with a rebound. Garzone. In and out. Rebound. Parrish. Ayu's got the lead back. The aggressiveness out of the guards on defense in their calculated risks. Rafu to Collins. Rafu left alone. This three, not there. Parrish a big rebound for Indiana. What Columbia can't do is start settling on the threes again. Chesky into the front court. We are at three minutes to go. One point lead for Indiana. Parrish trying to get it inside. It was walled off. Great defense Chesky by Chesky in the Dalo. corner. Chesky fall away, Jay, not there. Rebound, Rafu. Indiana was trying to get the ball down low, but Henderson fronted the post. Foul, Gare zone as Henderson got all the way in. If there's such a thing that Kitty Henderson struggles with, it's free throws. 50% on the season. One more coming for the outstanding senior from the Sydney suburbs in Australia. We are tied at 60. Very hip to how important it is to make your free throws. Weiss missing those two free throws to win the game against Villanova last game. Moore McNeil gets inside. Kicks out gear zone. Moore McNeil on the move. Chloe got fouled on the drive. Chloe coming off a 21-point game against Stanford over the weekend. Just scored point number six. They're working hard on the defensive end today, and those are two clutch free throws. McNeil normally has more scoring prowess, but she's been doing all the other things in this game. Weiss, no fear. Weiss three, not there. And Meister, another rebound down low for Indiana. Lily's got eight. Weiss is a really good three-point shooter. 39% on the season. If she's shooting the three, that's not settling on a three for Columbia. 
Meister up to set a screen. Garzone split a double. Threw it up and in. Yarden Garzone. What a present on her birthday. Lexi been on it all night. Yarden Garzone. Yes, kind of known for shooting the three, but she can play every position, and she just killed Columbia on a shot fake and a drive. You want to run out at her for the three because she's 50% from beyond the arc, but my goodness, get her into the paint, and it's a bucket almost every time. Columbia needs a bucket here. 90 seconds to go. Henderson to Weiss. Collins, kick. Henderson, three. Rebound more McNeil, and Weiss the foul. More clutch free throw opportunity. One more coming for Chloe. That one is true. Still time for Columbia, six point game. Let's see if they go two or three. Oh, more McNeil took that opportunity away. Chloe got the steal. Garzone stripped out of bounds by White. By the way, what you are seeing on your screen is exactly what the officials are looking at right now. Trying to figure this thing out. Columbia hanging around, just over a minute to go. This call is a big Inbound difference to Paige. in this game. Let's see if they go two for three. There's some time ticket off here. Collins try to shake free. Cecilia Collins checked by Garzone. Got it down low. Henderson up and good. Indiana was doing such a good job at dead ball, dead ball, everyone covering their person, and then Kitty Henderson with the cut. Smart play by Moore McNeil to dribble out. You think Columbia's got a foul here at some point. Columbia needs to foul, or Indiana will just dribble this out, playing keep away. So much time is coming off the clock. Down low, Meister, that may be the capper. Meister, career day. Career-high 20 points tied from earlier this season. She had a career-high 20 points against Harvard. Open three. This is Weiss, not there. They're going to say it's out of bounds off of Columbia. And it is still Indiana ball. I think what it came down to there, Lexi, is they just did not have a clean look that proved that Sid Parrish touched the ball. It's been a great second half. Columbia's come close multiple times, but Indiana has battled back time after time. And if the Hoosiers make their free throws. Columbia at least set themselves up to be in a position to make it a game at the end, that free throw game where you have to foul and send Indiana to the free throw line. They didn't waste any time off the clock doing that. That's another miss from Chloe Moore McNeil. Weird, she missed two all year before tonight. Now she's missed a couple. We're not sneaking up on anyone anymore. People are prepping and doing their scout on us. So they have that battle ahead of them this year as well because they've become that type of team. Collins three, no good. Parrish the rebounds. Sid Parrish go to the line. Started her college career at Oregon, came back close to home. Tonight, if a made free throw, which she does, nine points. And what you don't want to do is give Columbia an opportunity to set up an out of bounds play that gets them the three. Yeah, here's a wide open look. Weiss hit it from the corner, but she caught it out of bounds. Tough break. That is a tough break because that was a perfect scenario for Columbia to get that out of bounds play. They got Weiss, their best three point shooter, open. Hurts. Columbia now, with the lost Indiana, will play Southern Miss. Still though, Lexi, I think if you're Columbia, you're frustrated by this loss today, but going forward, this type of game certainly may benefit you in the long run, feels like. Yeah, Columbia can learn a lot of things from this game, and at the end of the day, it's hard to win a game when you shoot 17% from three, but they found other ways to keep this game close and make it a competitive matchup. Coach Griffith is one of those coaches that feels that way. Columbia did not stop this battle. Even with 0.5 seconds remaining, they're still playing that free throw game with Indiana.
Hey, it's good news for Sid Parrish. She's into double-figure scoring with 10, and she finished with nine rebounds. Pretty good day for Sid, and a good day for the Indiana Hoosiers. In game one in their trip to paradise, they take a punch from Columbia, get one back, and end up winning the game by 10.